What up, YouTube? 12 Rounds TV, I'm back. Uh, this video is going to be my prediction of the Canelo versus Kirkland. Uh, the fight's going to happen this Saturday, May 9th. And um, these are some of my thoughts. Uh, to be honest, to be very honest, I like both fighters. I really like both of them, you know. Um, I've watched their, their bouts before. Um, it's really hard for me to tell, man. To be honest with you, but I, I don't, I don't see, I don't see the same match that we saw with Mayweather and Pacquiao happening in this match with uh, Canelo and Kirkland. Both fighters are not defensive fighters. They both have great, go, good defense, not great, good defense, but they also are offensive fighters. You know, they're young. I mean, yeah, Kirkland's like 31 years old and Canelo's like 24, 25, so about six, seven years old. Six, seven, year old, six, seven years old, older uh, Kirkland is. Um, but they're still very young in the game. They got something to prove. Um, I know Canelo's uh, has been in, in over 40-something fights, and I believe Kirkland's been over 30-something fights, and both fighters have only lost once. Uh, Mayweather, um, Canelo lost to Mayweather, and Kirkland lost to that Japanese guy. I can't remember his name. And I don't think it was 100% when he lost there, when Kirkland lost to that guy. And... And Canelo, obviously, yeah, we know the deal. I'm not going to call him any names, but he lost to Mayweather. Um, so, anyway, I mean, they've only lost one fight in their whole entire career. So, uh, I'm not going to judge him for, for losing. And um, I think they're both great fighters. I mean, you guys seen the 24-7 uh, Canelo versus Kirkland. He's great, man. It's hard to tell. But, at the end of the day, we all have our predictions. We all have our votes and we all have our picks, right? Um, I believe that Kirkland has great punching power. I mean, that dude knocked out people before first, second, third rounds. And he's got great stamina. He's got great stand. I mean, he's, you know, I don't think necessarily that he's got a, you know, a, a great defense. He's got an okay defense, but he's got power. I mean, he's been named, I mean, he's been dubbed like Tyson, you know, like, because his, his ability to knock people out, I mean, he, he's, he's got, he's got a ferocious style, you know, he gets angry, he gets that face and angry and just start throwing and stuff, I mean, it's going to be a good fight, I believe, I think uh, Kirkland is going to bring his best, comes May 9th, uh, this Saturday, tomorrow's a weigh-in, right, um, Friday. I believe that these two fighters are gonna be are gonna do good. I think Kirkland's gonna come out strong, man. I mean, he's been working out. You can see that on, on all access. Um, I think he's gonna give it his best. Besides his, you know, outside of the ring, legal issues, you know, which if he keeps at it, man, that thing's gonna affect his career. You know, he's got a he's got a talent that he doesn't, you know, we don't we don't want him to waste. He's got all the good things happening to him and. Um, He's beat up, you know, he's knocked out all last three opponents of him after the after he got after he lost. I mean, he's knocked them all out, all three opponents. Um, if you guys want to know what I thought about that stuff, uh, please watch my video on the 24-7 <clears throat> Canelo vs. Kirkland, my, uh, my full episode review of that on HBO. It's, it's on my channel. Um, please watch it and uh, let me know what you think. But... On the other hand, we got this guy, Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's kind of like the golden boy of Mexico, right? He's a Mexican fighter. They call him Canelo because of his red red hair. You know, Canelo means uh, means uh, cinnamon, so that's they call him that. But uh, he's born and raised there. He's a tough kid. Don't look like no 24, 25 to me. You know, he's been fighting over 40 fights since he was maybe 14, 15. Um... My prediction and my picks, based on how these fighters performed in the past, which I don't really like to do that because you can't really, you know, base their present performance or what they're going to do on Saturday based on their past performance. But that's all I have. That's all we have, right? Hell, Canelo or Kirkland could be undefeated right now. We don't really care. But comes May 9th, Saturday, they could lose, right? Anything can happen in boxing or via robbery. That thing happens in boxing a lot. But anyway, this is what I think. I think that both Canelo Alvarez and Kirkland, James Kirkland, 
are gonna get at it, man. I think we're gonna get the fight that the Mayweather and Pacquiao should have should have been. I think it's gonna be explosive. But I don't see. I just don't see. I mean, I do, but I don't. Like I said, I gotta pick one. I've, I've been thinking about this all night after I watched the uh, 24-7. I'm going for Saul Canelo Alvarez. I believe that Kirkland and Saul Canelo Alvarez are going to trade punches like there's no tomorrow. I just, I just believe. I, I wouldn't say strongly believe because like I said, James Kirkland is dangerous as just, just Canelo. But like I said, I gotta make a, I gotta pick a pick, right? Um, I the only reason why I believe some of the reasons why I believe Canelo will outbox and beat Kirkland is because of his experience. You know, not necessarily his performance. I mean, Kirkland did perform way better than what Canelo did in his last three fights. I mean, if you guys base it off, if you guys want to go there and base the last three fights of this. His two fighters, Kirkland, James Kirkland did better. He knocked out all three of them. Canelo didn't. But as far as stamina, punching power, I should say, and technique, style, and defense, a little bit, I I believe that Canelo doesn't have the a very a great um, advantage, but he has a little bit of edge on Kirkland based on, you know, like I said, of the, the experience he has. He's been fighting for a long time, over 40 some fights. He knows and he's been there, he's been with tough fighters. And I'm not saying that James Kirkland has not. James Kirkland has been to tough fighters as well. But I don't think James Kirkland is, is, is in shape as much as Canelo is. Um, I think that Canelo is more calm, and we know the calmer guy is the more focused in the ring. I believe that Kirkland is a little bit hothead, and you know when you're hothead like that, that can take you off your game. I think I believe that if Canelo hits Kirkland in the first round, second round, I think Kirkland would be pissed and and lose his his um his game plan you know I, I hope not i hope not i hope you know i hope both fighters draw i hope both of them win and, and you know in a draw and, but we don't want to see a draw right not cinco de mayo fight right this is actually the cinco de mayo fight obviously it's may 9th but every cinco de mayo is you know mexican holiday and you know it's just gonna be a fight but anyway i'm picking canelo alvarez because i believe that he's got the better experience i think he's got the better defense I think he's got a better style and technique, and I think he's a lot more calm, calmer than than Kirkland is. Kirkland's a little bit hothead, like I said, and that sometimes can take you off your game. And not necessarily because, not necessarily that Canelo can outbox Kirkland. I, I, I never said that, but I believe that um, Kirkland is um, is a little bit on the edge when it comes to to the focus you know to the focus and not necessarily intelligence i think they're both intelligent in, in boxing but um i also believe that canelo has a little bit more of a defense advantage versus kirkland i mean yeah kirkland if he's got a strong punch if he's got it he i do this ferocious you guys seen his fight watch some of the uh, kirkland fight he can knock people out, just like Mark Tyson did before. I mean, similar, not exactly the same, but similar. Um, but Canelo Alvarez also, <clears throat> his dude is a warrior. He don't stop. He keeps going. And he also has great defense. Um, also, one point that uh, Canelo has never been knocked down in his entire career. 40-some fights, never been not once knocked down. Similar to Mayweather, never been knocked down. Kirkland has been knocked down, obviously. All right, one of his knockdowns, he won the fight, but he was knocked down that that um that match, and he he lost once to a Japanese dude. Uh, he put him down too, so <clears throat> the Japanese dude put him put down uh, Kirkland as well. Um, so yeah, 
I, I believe that uh, Canelo will not necessarily outpower um, Kirkland, but I think he would. He, he has a better defense in this fight, and I believe he has uh, the more more ex most experience out of out two, and the more um, and the better technique and style when when it comes to boxing. Um, but anything can happen. Happen, you know. I just have to pick one, and I gotta pick Canelo Alvarez, you know, based on his performances, which um, hopefully, well, hopefully I'm right, you know. If I'm it, then it, and if I'm wrong, then so be it, right? But I like this for two fighters. You know, it's hard to pick. It's not like, you know, you're putting Kirkland versus, I don't know, Guerrero or something like that. I don't know. I mean, or Kirkland versus Golovkin or Canelo versus Golovkin or something of that nature, you know. <clears throat> it's like one of those one-sided fight, per se. But I'm picking Canelo, guys. Canelo wins by, I would say, um, <clears throat> unanimous decision. But we'll see. But I, I like both fighters. I think there's going to be a knockdown in this fight. I think there's going to be a knockdown in this fight. Um, I believe that Kirkland will be knocked down at least once in this fight. <clears throat> and um, I think it'll go 12 rounds. If not, then uh, I think Canelo Alvarez will win by uh, at least a TKO. Or it could go also 12 rounds and split decision, which is unlikely. Uh, my best, my best guess is um, twelve rounds, unanimous decision. So can I love us. <clears throat> Let me know what you guys think. Talk to you in the next one. Please subscribe. Take care and stay safe out there. Twelve rounds TV. Peace.